Hello, and welcome to an episode of the Dental Speaker Podcast. I'm your host, Vanessa Emerson, founder of Dental Speaker Institute and the Dental Speaker. And I'm going to tell you, my dear friend Ann Duffy and I were just talking and doing some other things, and we said, let's just pop out a podcast. So we're going to do that real quick. So welcome, Ann Duffy, to the Dental Speaker Podcast. Oh, thank you, Vanessa. It's so lovely to be with you today. Uh, I, it really has been lovely, and it, what we, I was hoping to capture here to share with um, our listeners is the conversation we were having today around the importance of attending industry events and the networking and the growth for our business that comes from that. And of course, I was thinking about the lovely Do Retreat that we he, that we attend every year, and I cannot imagine missing uh, missing it. And one other thought is that um, this importance of building a referral-based business, it, when, if we're wanting to be able to re- build a referral-based business, it's so important to have, you know, meet our colleagues and be able to help each other. So I'm realizing I really didn't give you any kind of intro because we're just doing this off the cuff. So I'm before I throw a ball to you for you to take away, I'll just say, um, if you don't know Ann Duffy, I'm sorry, but you need to know Ann Duffy. <laughs> like I, I just assume everybody knows Anne, right? So Anne is publisher with Dental Entrepreneur and Dental Entrepreneur Women. Um, Literally, when I say this with love, I think you're a queen amongst us. I really do. I know that for you, you're like, no, I'm just Anne. But I I think and that's part of what endears you to us. But I would say, um, I look at the impact and the influence that you have had in our industry and the thousands, if not many, many, many thousands of lives that you've touched by the work that you do. And so thank you for being here with me today and and spending a few minutes with us. Well, thanks for having me. Boy, I'm going to come back more often, Vanessa. That's awesome. (laughs) We have to book a meeting every every week, right? (laughs) Let's take this topic away. I know we have a a limited amount of time. So let's, let's, the, the importance of attending events and the networking, how have you seen that to be helpful for you and your business? Well, I think that's everything. I, I people, you know, especially since COVID, I mean, Zoom is great. And I, I actually love Zoom, but being, there's something about being uh, face-to-face, in person, wrapping your arms around somebody, sitting down, having a talk with no worries or troubles uh, with tech or anything like that, just face-to-face. What do they say? Knee to knee. And um, I just love it. That's what, that's what the, the retreat's about. We started it, um, you know, this is our fifth anniversary coming up. And I just felt it was so neat to be able to bring women in dentistry from all career paths together because we can learn so much from each other and and in different areas, right? So we we sometimes feel alone. And, you know, the dental entrepreneur woman does feel alone a lot because they're running a business like you. I run mine from my home office and most of us do. And it's just so great to be able to speak to other women that actually get what you're about, get your woes, get your, uh, your fears, uh, get your wins. And they listen and celebrate those with you. And, um, we, you know, as we say, the answer is always in the room and you get a, a group of women together or a group of people together because we love our dudes. And I know a lot of your members are, are men. We love our men. I, I was saying something earlier today. Um, you know, the old, this is going to sound funny, but dentistry used to be, uh, run by a bunch of old white guys and Actually, I love white guys because I, an old white guy, because I'm married to an old white guy. I know. One too. <laughs> I know. So, you know, it, it isn't just, it just no, is nothing against, uh, you know, no. aging white men, nothing at all. No, not, not, I'm an aging white woman. <laughs> exactly. But I love the idea of bringing yeah. uh, women together because women have a, a special story, a special, special needs, a special, uh, special work that we do in this world. And it's something to be um, appreciated and shared. I know that it is your heart. I mean, it's evident that it's your heart and heart. And um, I would just share too, from my experiences of attending the do retreat, as I was sharing with um, Anne a minute ago, like, I don't even care if you have speakers. (laughs) <laughs> I just because I, I and you do you always have great speakers there's always great content but the reason I come is to be in that room with um the the environment that you generate and the family feel and the love and 
um, the hugs and the and the and the true caring for each other, I think is really very special. And something that helps us, especially speakers and consultants, not feel so isolated. I think it can be really feel like you're on an island at times when you're a consultant and you don't have the office you go into with all the other team members. And to be able to really build a strong family of colleagues is so wonderful and take it to a next level, right? So you, you, your community is female entrepreneurs from all over the industry, like you were just saying, I mean, really, you've got a big component in DSO as well as not DSO and like, you know, everybody with different backgrounds and it, it just really is a lovely thing. Well, and to be clear, you know, I, you don't even have to necessarily be an entrepreneur because women in general, in my mind, are entrepreneurs because we always always are spinning five plates. So that's the idea. And we're always handling problems and multiple problems a day. So a lot of people say, well, I don't know if I can be a do because I'm working for you know, a company. No, you're an entrepreneur. You're taking on your job as a wife, as a mother, as a marketer, as an attorney, as a CPA, whatever you do in your world, women are entrepreneurial in that, in that role. And, um, so dental and professional people. women then dental professional women are dental advantage. professional women. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's, it's so that. true. So true. Well, and also, and you know, um, quickly Vanessa, it was like, it was to highlight women and then inspire and power, but the connection, as you were saying, the connection, with connection comes networking and comes collaboration. So yes. it's not just we connect and network with each other. We ought actually advocate for each other. So it's not just knowing somebody, but we, re rec we recommend, we refer. That's how we're all going to grow. Um, yeah. and, the, and the rising tide is going to raise all ships. Well, you know, I copied you. Um <laughs> to retreat uh, and why one thing I loved about the way you have um, facilitated these last couple of meetings is the speakers were short uh, content so not like a two hour or three hours like maybe a 45 30 minute 20 15 minutes something short and then the way you have us at the tables and you keep changing up the tables we borrowed that idea tweaked it slightly but used that at Weevolution and our community really loved it as well this idea of having an assigned seat because I think when we go to meetings often we're like oh I'm going to get to see um, Sally, I haven't seen her all year and we're going to go do all these things together, but then we miss these opportunities of meeting new people. And so while we will see our, our buddy Sally at the meetings we attend, I, I think the way you've asked us to um, sit at different tables and then you give us the uh, exercises, the interaction. So we might have heard someone speak for 30 minutes, but then we have 15 or 20 minutes of with our table mates. That was so powerful for me the very first year. I met people and had deep conversations with them. I still remember today, even though it was a couple of years ago, and that now I see them at other meetings or on social, and it feels like it gives you enough time to really develop that connection we're talking about. So I want to say kudos to you, bravo, on a, a brilliant facilitation. Um, and I, what, I know we have just a couple minutes left. Um, our, our next do retreat will be when and where? October 25th, which is a Wednesday through half day on October 27th. So October 25th, 26th, half day on the 27th in Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, Charlotte's such a lovely city. Love, 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 love coming there. Even though it's not super easy to get to from where I'm at, it's like, I love coming there. <laughs> I, I always take a, a nonstop from where you are. It's just a little far. It's a oh, little yeah, far. Yeah. yeah. But nonstops, uh, Charlotte is the as a budding airport. You can get here nonstop from just about anywhere. Oh, that's fabulous. And thank you for clarifying that. Um, so we have October 25th or 27th and do retreat. We find out more at do.life, dew.life. Yes, dew.life and just go to events. You can sign up for, for do uh, and, and then sign up for the retreat. We'd love to have you. Everyone is welcome to sit at our table.
Yes. And I would say to people, do not wait because I anticipate this will sell out. Did I remember you selling out last year? I think I do. Yeah. We've sold, we've sold out every year. And so the hotels will sell out. We have, we have one hotel and we have a sister hotel that we use when that sells out. That's right next door, basically. And there's a Marriott now on, on that campus and, and everything's oh. taken care of. We have that. We're going to have the house party again. We're going to the fashion show. We're going to have all the fun Yummy fun. things that women love to have. So it, we, we just can't wait to see everyone. Oh my gosh. I know this is going to be so awesome. Well, it is right around the corner, really. And it, it, just a couple months away. Not to, I know not to give you that meeting planning. Uh, yeah. <laughs> a little bit of nervousness. I know. Oh, I just too. open the door. I literally, I don't get, I, I, I really, like you say, I, I think you cannot go wrong putting women in the room like you and me that want to love on each other. That and I want to give and expand their horizons. There's, you know, that's the magic. That's the magic. And maybe that's a great place for us to leave it with a, a, a self check. Do I think I'm that person? Do I think I'm that person that would love to have more girlfriends in my uh, business world and dentistry, especially those that are out there doing something similar or different where we can support each other and can be there, mastermind, brainstorm? You know, is, is that you? Well, uh, that's you. You're one of yeah. us. Yeah, I would say if you want to grow your business, join do. I, I have seen businesses explode through this organization because of all the help they get. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I agree. Well, thank you so much, Anne, for this little impromptu <laughs> podcast that we did. And um, DEW.life will be the website. Otherwise, um, if you want to reach out to Anne, she's A N N E Anne at dentalentrepreneurmedia.com. I even have your email memorized, my friend. Wow, I'm yeah. impressed. Oh, thank you, Vanessa. Thanks for having me. Oh my gosh, you're welcome. And until next time, everyone be well, and we'll see you soon. Bye.